put that up, but okay. Um, I'm Jessica Warnke. I'm a senior from Bennington High School. And my poem is called Press Roses. My aunt's funeral roses are framed and hanging on the wall. They are dried, faded, ugly, and pressed, pressed closely to the family photos that surround and fold together like the succulent petals of the flowers before they withered. Roses decorate in the casket of my mother's sister. Her face is missing from scenes of life gone by, and the only one she stands in is blemished by a looming shadow over her shoulder, a face blackened by the sharpie my mother held with shaking hands as she tried to erase your existence. My aunt left 12 years too early by the other end of a bullet that came from a bottle. Your lips sucked that bottle like it was living water, like it came from God to save you from what I will never know. Memories, pain, an excuse, a childhood of abuse like the one you gave my cousin. He knew the snap of a belt better than the back of his own hands, how the animal springs four from the bottle. Anger full throttle, pouncing on his prey as it lands. Strike one, two, three, four, he falls on the dance floor. The whip of the buckle, the rap of the knuckles is still hell in the eyes of a child. How much did you have to drink before you could swallow all that you inflicted on a wife and two children? Did you choke on that bitter divorce or when they left Arizona sand to come back home? Home where it should be safe where you shouldn't have to worry about how drunk dad is again. Were those last chops sweet on your tongue before you turned to my aunt, pulled tight, and she felt like the pressed petals off a red rose? That last bottle didn't even satisfy you before you turned it back to yourself and pulled once more. 12 years later, I walked the halls of my high school my last year before I'm sent to a whole new world. And senior year is filled with so much more that sometimes I forget the pressed roses and the blackened face, but sometimes I hear the updates and the laughter of my classmates as they discuss how wasted they got over the weekend or the next party they recommend. And all I can think about is your lips. Sucking that bottle, that bottle named alcohol, is so my mother's sister from the photos on the wall. They talk about how fun or stress relieving it is to get high or drunk when my aunt's bones rotten away in graves dug 12 years too early. They might think I'm strange because I can't stand the thought of surrounding my will, my God given right of freedom to clear minded sober. My classmates can hate me for my unflinching opposition towards anything relaxing. My immediate response to tattle because no one saved you from the bottle, but maybe I can save them or myself, and then I won't be haunted by the pressed roses hanging on my wall. <laughs>